fragrance opens portal ways. And I mean, not just your normal everyday portal way, like as in a doorway, I mean quantum, quantum portal ways. Portal ways that are outside of this time and space continuum. So that's what we're gonna explore in this time together. I'll give some examples. If you have some essential oils that you love, that you wanna smell during this time, do it. This will be an experiment that we can play with together. So normally when we think about a portal way, just a standard doorway, let's say, I'm out here on the veranda. There's a door there. I could exit out of that door, walk down the, the deck here, and then enter into a doorway down at the end. It's in time and space that that's happening. Yeah? If I'm in that one side of the building and I exit out, I'm having that certain experience in that part of the building with my surroundings. I walk into this area, I have a certain experience and then I walk into another portal way or, or doorway and have another experience of the surroundings there. When we smell fragrance, we can open up portal ways that are not bound to the linear time-space experience. And if, I know this sounds kind of far out in sci-fi, but you, you can think of examples for yourself right now. I'm gonna give you one for myself, and then if you wanna share one from your experience, I'd love to hear it in the comments. When I was a little girl, my uh, grandmother, she had, I believe it was Maybelline makeup. She, it was like her whole little makeup collection was all the same brand. And I loved to play dress up and I loved to go and play with her makeup even though she didn't like me to. I'd go in there and I'd open up the powder and I'd open up the lipstick and it, oh no, it was CoverGirl, CoverGirl. And it all had the same smell. And I don't actually think it has the same smell anymore, but I remember once I became a young woman, I went to the uh, drugstore and I bought some of the makeup and I opened it up and as soon as I smelled the lipstick, it had that exact same smell and it was like I was transported back to being a little girl standing in her bathroom in her apartment, putting on her lipstick, hoping that I wouldn't get caught. That is a quantum portal way. Fragrance is very unique in how it helps us to access these quantum portal ways. It's why certain fragrances, a, a flower or a spice, we say, it, you know, this transports me back to my grandmother's kitchen or this transports me back to Christmas when I was a young child, right? It's not that it actually takes us back in time, but in a way it does because it opens up that quantum portal way. And as we, as our body, as our emotions, as our mental body respond to that portal way being opened, our physio physiology can actually adjust and change according to that quantum portal that was opened. So think about the ramifications of this in your own life. If you're a clinician, if you practice with the oils, think about the ramifications for this when you're working with people clinically. If you don't work with people clinically, but you love essential oils and you love fragrance and you know the power of it, think about the ramifications for you with this. I want to name a really important one here, if you haven't already landed on it. A lot of what we experience as healing, uh, and we talk about as healing, is happening in linear time and space. You do this, then this happens, you do this, then this happens, you do this, then this happens. Linear time and space. And while obviously that's true and it's valid, it's also true that we are subject to and we regularly experience quantum healing opportunities. And in my experience, it's also essential to experience quantum healing opportunities along our linear healing path, because it's those quantum healing opportunities that actually help us to integrate a lot of the healing that happens in time and space within the entirety of our being, which is not just bound in time and space. And this is actually how we create transgenerational healing that's not bound by time. You might have heard, you know, when we heal, we're healing generations forwards and backwards in time. This is how that's true, through quantum openings, through quantum healing experiences. I have, to date, 
in all of my years of clinical practice and study of, of transformative techniques and technologies, fragrance is the most powerful tool that I've ever worked with for opening up quantum portal ways and with ease and oftentimes with great joy and great delight. You know, I mean, it's so pleasant to smell fragrances that you love. I, I brought pink grapefruit out here with me to take in and you know whether the fragrance itself transports you to a time and place if you will that's part of your memory banks or part of your ancestral memory banks for sure it will serve to transport you into the present moment even more than you already are and that's also a portal opener so how how much of the time how much of the time do you spend not in the present moment, not totally here right now, thinking ahead or worrying about the past, planning the future, regretting about the past. It's, it's, it's so common, right? And I find, especially being a Westerner and, and being an American, that there's so much emphasis placed on productivity that the norm is for me to always be thinking several steps ahead of myself and not being present. I can take an oil, and I can use it Aroma Point style. You can check out that video about what Aroma Point therapy is, or you can just take a drop and put it in your hands. This one's diluted, and just take an inhalation. And feel how it brings you present. It just brings us right here, right now. So to recap, Fragrance opens portal ways, and in particular, it opens up quantum portal ways. It can give us access to intelligence, information, and understanding that's not bound to the linear time and space model. And through doing this, essential oils uh, and natural fragrances can actually powerfully help us to heal on a quantum level. So through accessing quantum portal ways, we can heal on quantum levels, which is unbound from the linear time-space continuum. And that type of healing is what helps us to integrate, radically integrate all the work that we've done in linear time and space and radiate out that healing in all directions in time and no time, in space and no space, through our ancestral and cultural field. This is real. This is something that I witness every day in my, that I have witnessed every day in my clinical practice. If you're interested in this topic, I included a link below to a couple of my courses, virtual courses, where I touch on this quite a bit about tending to ancestral wounds and working with transforming ancestral wounds that move through culture and through our bloodline and doing that so beautifully with the help of fragrance. So I'd love to hear what you think. How did this land for you? What's your takeaway? What would you like to add to this conversation? What's your favorite essential oil? And if you liked this video, do uh, give it a thumbs up and then you can share it with others. And I will see you in the next video. So much love.